Okay, so this is my kerosene lantern hatch out box. I've got a box here, it's got a shelf down here, a couple of blocks to hold up a shelf. And I insert a mason jar lantern in there, it's got some holes the air goes through and surrounds and up the stack out through this uh, partition in the wall over there. It's a double partition. So it kind of cools off before it goes through a vent outside. And so, let's take a look to see what we've got. This is the third hatching. I'm sorry, the fourth hatching. First three were not very successful, but we've been able to kind of get the dynamics of this thing. This is the incubator, by the way. This is a big kerosene six tray incubator that I made. Um, vent holes here, tracking boards, that sort of thing. And of course you can see where it vents out. That's where the, uh, because of the carbon monoxide from the kerosene, when as soon as they break through the shell, I put them in here and so they hatch out through here because they get fresh air. Because the uh, kerosene goes right up the flue. And so here are the little rascals. Got a good temperature in there. And uh, unfortunately two died, but there's six from this particular lot that are viable and doing quite well. This is their first day. They patched like clockwork yesterday. They started pecking out, so I put them in here and maintained the temperature. And uh, they're drinking water. These are midget white turkeys. So we hatch them ourselves and uh, things are going well. So. So far, so good. God blessed us. All right, y'all have a good day.